After a glacier retreats, there is only bare ground and rocks. Starting with simple mosses and ending with hemlock forests, plants transform the land in a process called succession. Lichens live on the rock itself. They're among the pioneer plants, taking nutrients from raw materials and helping to form a surface where other plants can take hold. Dust and plant materials build up until there is a thin layer of soil. Next, mountain avens grow in thick mats, adding organic matter and holding soil in place. They help prepare the ground for hardy alder, willow, and cottonwood. Following a glacier's retreat, the soil is too nitrogen poor for spruce and hemlock. Alders and other plants help to add more nitrogen to the soils for the next stage. Western hemlock grow with the spruce, but they produce more shade than spruce trees can tolerate. Hemlock finally overtakes spruce and produce a climax forest, the last phase of succession. The climax forest creates a world beneath its canopy where mosses, ferns, and fungi have the moisture and the shade they require. A population of small animals and birds suited to this environment live within the hemlock canopy. The tall forest overstory is a prime place for eagles to make their nests. The great hemlock trees, the rich forest floor, the forest's edges offer habitat for many species.